Hi, we're here at the Crossroads Collective at Egg and Flower with Chef Adam Pavlik, and he is helping us make a little delicious dish just in time for Thanksgiving. What are you making for us? Yeah, we're doing a, our fresh house pasta with a herb pesto, so basil pesto. Pretty classic. I don't know if it's for Thanksgiving, but I would have pasta at my Thanksgiving table. It's a, per sure. a perfect side for Thanksgiving or yeah. a uh, or maybe for the weekend if you are looking uh, for something to make for the family. And Definitely. Uh, this so is all pure basil pesto, so there's no parsley or any other herbs. So we do basil, Parmesan cheese, garlic, oil, salt and pepper, and uh, that's about it. We robo it up, uh, and it comes together really beautiful. And no nuts. No nuts. It does not need nuts. We actually add the Parmesan cheese after it's all blended so that it stays a little bit coarse uh, and really good flavor, so it's kind of like you have you have the nuts in there, the texture-wise. Another thing for at-home people is use breadcrumbs in your pesto if you don't want to use nuts, but you still want that texture. So we're adding some fresh herbs. We have fresh basil, fresh parsley, fresh chives. This goes in every time. Coarse black pepper and some salt. And then we're going to just bring it over here where we have our, uh, our pasta ready. And oh. this is the uh, crusted de gallo shape. So that'll go right in there. So you do hot pasta on in kind of a cold pasta? Kind of room temperature, uh, the herb pesto. It sits out a little bit just so the oil uh, can set. And with the hot pasta and a little bit of the pasta water in the bowl, it really just helps it bring together. And, and I have to say, I'm I'm guilty of doing this all the time where I rinse my pasta never, and I let it sit there never. for a while and you go right in. No, nope, no, no pasta should ever get rinsed ever. That is <laughs> against the rules. It just it just rinses off all the starch. So you leave the starch, it keeps the sauce. Uh, whether it's pesto or any kind of sauce, it'll help it stick to the noodle. So we're just going to spoon that up. And then like any good pasta dish, we're just going to finish it with a bunch of Parmesan cheese uh. over the top. And how long did this take you to make? Uh, this was uh, this is a four minute dish. The pesto itself, you, you get all the ingredients together, throw it in a blender and you're done. You know, this can be done. No problem. Four minutes. Yep. If you need a snack after Thanksgiving. Oh, definitely. Yeah, if you're sick of the turkey and the stuff, you know. Or if you want to bring a delicious side to Thanksgiving, a, a pesto side would be delicious. Yeah, as that, well. that would totally work. You know, pesto with bread and or maybe a pesto stuffing. That'd yeah, four minutes in a blender, and you don't have to worry about uh, anyone with a nut allergy because there's no. no nuts in it. You don't, and kids will like it even if it's green because there's cheese. Exactly.